Welcome back. Good evening. I'm Kevin McNulty. Some disappointing news from Lawrence Area Schools today with school administration deciding to cancel the high school's remaining varsity football games. Now, Lawrence Athletic Director Darren Voskel tells me the Purple Hornets started the year with lower than typical participation numbers and injuries during the first four weeks of the season caused them to cancel the rest of their schedule. Now, Voskel says it's the hardest decision he's had to make as an AD. Junior varsity games will continue as planned, and there's no word yet on whether Lance will field an 11-player team again next season. Now for some college volleyball action. Bay College hosting Gobgibic Community College in Escanaba. We skip to the third set with the Norse already up two, two sets to nothing. Samson's able to get it over the net on a Lily Johnson tip try, but the Norse get the point with Madison Johnson setting up Piper Monroe for the kill. They lead 7-5. Now Norse leading 15-14 when Johnson sets one up for Leah Allen. She pounds it down the line for another winner. They lead 16-14 now. Norse still serving, and the Sampsons give up the free ball here. Johnson to Olivia Saxton, and boom. 17-14 Bay leads. Sampson's trying to extend the match as Bay leads by six. But here's the set by Leah Lottie. And the kill lands just inside the sideline for Isadora Bambagi. She brings her team within a point. But there was way too much of Tiana Taylor tonight. Here she pounds her 11th kill of the night and almost takes out Jack Hall as well. That was a career high in kills for the Gwynn High School graduate. And Bay College wins this one. Three sets to none. And if you have any UP sports highlights or clips you think we want to see, we want to share them. You can submit your pictures and videos directly to our sports crew. It's easy to do on UpperMichiganSource.com and the TV6 and Fox UP mobile news app. Tech College football now, and for the first time since 2015, Michigan Tech is 3-0. The Huskies have grinded a pair of road wins the past two weekends at Wisconsin Platteville and Upper Iowa, winning those two by a combined seven points. While they're happy to come out of those battles unscathed in terms of losses, head coach Dan Metlack knows they need to clean it up and take care of the football. They want to pull up a home upset on Saturday. We have a lot to clean up. A lot of the same things that we talked about last week that we cannot continue to do if we're going to win football games. We did do again this past weekend. So there's a lot of positive. I loved our guys' effort and not giving up and just sticking with it, playing the next play. Uh, that was incredible. But uh, again, if you're going to win games in the GLIAC, uh, you can't turn the ball over three times. Uh, you know, you, you can't miss tackles in the open field. The Huskies have eight combined turnovers over the last two games. They welcome number 18 Davenport to Houghton on Saturday. That one kicks off at 1 o'clock Eastern.